Hello everyone and welcome back to our fresh news. I am your host Billy Newman and I hope you guys had a great new year and watched the ball drop, shot up your guns and did all the stuff you wanted to do and had fun. It's 2019 now and this is the first video. So let's get into it. So how things are going to go for now on is right now I'm going to do the intro and the Tom Johnson is going to do the breakdown to give you more information on what I'm seeing. That's what we're going to be doing in a new format and a little bit more stuff. Alright anyway, for the first topic of the day, Mickey D's, yep, McDonald's. Something has happened. A straw accident. Which I know it sounds weird, and trust me, it gets even weirder. Tom Johnson will tell you more now. Hey everybody, and welcome back to our fresh news. It's your boy Tom Johnson, back again in 2019. Alright, so what you're seeing right here is this guy came to McDonald's, the guy in the fight over a straw. He wanted the straw, but they wouldn't give him one, and then he yanked her across the counter. This girl right here. But what he didn't know is that she's actually a trained fighter, so she knows how to throw hands. And of course, he got beat up. He got beat bad. Very bad. He said he wanted her fired and to go to jail, but of course, that didn't happen. He went to jail, of course. That's what ended up happening. He went to jail because he's the one who started it. So obviously, he's the one that's going to go to jail. Wait, wait, that's in jail now. Not sure if he got to pay a fine or anything, but he went to, he definitely went to jail because he started it. I mean, imagine going home and telling your friends, yeah, I got in a fight over a straw. Yeah, bro, got in a fight over a straw. Just imagine that. It's freaking hilarious. All right, then, back to you, Billy. Now for our second topic of the day. Lacey Bone has released yet another diss track against the Migos titled Annihilation. This time, it does, it's not cringy this time, and this time it's actually listenable. This time it's not just a whole lot of terrible mixing going on and a very horrible beat in the background. This time it's actually a good beat, good lyrics, and actually a good song that you could actually listen to without cutting it off after the first 10 seconds. So for our next topic of the day, Lacey Bonus put out yet another diss track against the Migos. Because the beef is still going, guys. It's still going. This time it's called Annihilation. And this one's actually pretty good. The mixing is good. The beat's good. You can actually hear the song this time. Actually hear him rapping. Instead of just the beat. Which is what I like. And plus the song is actually kind of good. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad at all. Unlike the first one. The first one was just terrible. And this one is really, really good. It's way better. And nobody's responded yet. But I hope somebody responds back. For our last topic of the day, we'll be talking about the lottery. Yes, the lottery. The $1.6 billion ticket, if you haven't heard about it, it was won in about October. And, you, and while you're thinking that that's not news, it happened months ago. And yes, you are correct. But what I'm talking about today is the ticket has not yet been claimed. For some reason, whoever won the ticket has not claimed it yet. And they live in the state of South Carolina, which means they can be anonymous. But they have not claimed the ticket yet. They have until April 21st to claim the ticket before it goes back to the state. And I'm kind of wondering why haven't they claimed it. Let's go to Tom Johnson. He has more information on it now. And for the last topic of the day, someone has won $1.6 in South Carolina. And yes, it was months ago in October. But they still have not claimed the ticket yet. They have until April 21st to claim their ticket. And if they claim it... After taxes, they'll get 904 million in cash, which I wish I had. If I won the lottery, I would have been claiming that thing. I would have claimed it. I would have claimed it day one, at least day two. I would have claimed it a long, long time ago. I don't know if they're planning for it. If they lost the ticket, that's what I think happens. They either lost the ticket or they just forgot they bought it or don't know they bought it. I'm not sure how old the person was or if they forgot it, had a bad memory or anything. But I'm thinking they lost the ticket. But if they do find it, they sure do have a lot of money. A lot of money and they're a very lucky person so they should make sure they go and get that ticket cashed in well, alright then this has been refreshing news I'll see you guys next time Tom Johnson out this has been refreshing news and I'm your host Billy Newman and I will see you guys next week to get some more refreshing news